In today's video, we're gonna be ditching these and be replacing them with these. Play no games, no way. Play no games, no way. Play no games, no way. Play no games. I do want to give a quick thank you to Corbo. Uh, to be able to work with a company like Corbo is a dream come true and I never thought that my page or this channel would ever get to the point where I get to work with a company like them and so I'm very grateful for them and working with me and very grateful for each and every one of you who supported the page since the very beginning so thank you so this video isn't gonna be an install video per se I do go over a little bit of details about the seats uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison um, and some of the features that I added to mine this is more this video is more going to be about, you know, why would you want to switch to a seat like this and what benefits can you get from it? So my seats do come with the heated seat option, which I'm so stoked about. In the kit, you get, they'll send you the full harness with the button for a high and low. Um, it comes with the inline fuse right there. And they send you with a fuse tap to tap into some power and full instructions as well as some zip ties. So pretty cool, they send you everything you need to get these going. So here in this box, we have the direct replacement brackets for the new Corbo seats. So there is no altering or anything of that nature of the factory seats to get these to work. Open this up. More little instructions. No one reads those anyways. So here's the bracket all nice and secure very well packaged I must say and here it is so direct replacement don't even have to touch the factory seats basically all you have to do is pull off the female end of the seat belt and bolt it on right there so slides um, all that cool jazz all right so here they are side by side stock seat to the Corbo Trail Cat. Um, you can tell the headrest is taller on the Corbo. Um, some of the things I'm very impressed about with this Corbo is the size of these bolsters right here. They're just way deeper. I mean, the stock seat's basically just flat. Like, there's no bolster to that at all. I hope you can see that and that you can tell from that. I mean, look at the depth of these bolsters. So you definitely feel a lot more secure um, in place when you're bouncing around on the trails. Um, they did keep the thigh bolster a little lower to ensure getting out, getting in and out of a lifted truck would be easier. Um, still a lot more of a bolster than what we got here on the stock seat. So overall, the comfort level of these are just 10 times more comfortable. Um, all you have to do is switch the seat belt over uh, the female end. The frames are completely uh, bolt in. You still have all the reclining functionality. Um, and then these are race harness compatible, like three or four point harness, which I won't do. Uh, but if anyone else was wondering, yes, that's you can run the harnesses through there. A few of my favorite things. I, I love the white stitching right here. Obviously looks really good with the white truck. Um, little details like this and this embroidery back here on the back of the headrest. Absolutely love it. You do miss not having a pocket. Mine are completely stretched out, so didn't hold much anyways, never really kept stuff in there. Um, I don't know if anyone else had, like, that headrests are kind of loose or whatever, but I'm super stoked to get these in the truck. So it's been about three weeks since I installed these seats in the truck. Um, I've absolutely been loving them so far. Uh, I have collected a bunch of questions from Instagram and Facebook. And so I've kind of sorted through all of them and found the most commonly asked ones. And I'm going to go ahead and answer some of those for you today. So a lot of the questions referred to like the comfort of the seats. Um, by far, they are way more comfortable than the stock seat, at least the ones that were in my truck. I don't know if the limited models come with fancier seats, but for what they are compared to the stock seat, they are absolutely more comfortable. They are a little stiff at first. Um, I don't know if it's just the material inside, like the foam they use. The leather is really soft and nice, but at first they are a little stiff. I have noticed that they kind of break in a little bit. Um, the bolsters are really nice, especially up here on the back. I feel like they kind of hug your body, but not too much. Um, 
My favorite thing about the comfort level on these has been the heated seats. Uh, today is one of the first days that hasn't been snowing and so it's kind of been really cold and yucky in the mornings and so having the heated seats has um, definitely made that truck way more comfortable. A lot of other questions came with how much they are. So with my seats, um, I bought the brackets, the bolt-in brackets. Um, you're about $900 or so for the seats themselves. The brackets were a couple hundred bucks. And then to add on the heated seat option, you're about $1,500 out of the door. So for how much these seats are, they are absolutely worth the price. I did get a lot of questions about leg room. Um, the brackets that Corbro makes actually allows the seats to slide further back than the stock ones, which is good for me because I like to have a little bit more leg room. Um, I mean, that does eliminate the leg room in the back, but no one ever sits in the back of my truck. If, if anything, I have my six month old little boy, Kobe with me. He just is in his car seat and then Riley, our three-year-old daughter, uh, she sits in a forward facing car seat. So we do slide the seat forward just a tad for her, but the kids actually fit better in the back seat of this truck now with the new seats than they did before. So I got a bunch of camera gear here on the back. So, um, but this is where my little boy Kobe goes. Um, his car seat um, actually fits a lot better behind this seat. And I think one of the main reasons is because the old stock seat kind of came out like this and had the pocket. These seats are a little bit more like concaved. And so it offers just a little bit more touch room here for the car seat to go. Same with my daughter on this side. She actually fits a lot better in the back now with these seats. We still move this seat forward just a touch because I mean, I don't know if you can, she still kicks it. Um, but we still move that seat forward for her so that she can have a little bit more room overall they do allow a lot more leg room in the back than the old ones do. So some of the questions were about how they fit in here um, and if they were too tight or if they fit well. You still have a lot of really nice headroom here between um, the roof and the top of the seat. This is this headrest is a lot taller than the old one or the factory seat. Um, they are kind of tight here in the seat belt area. Um, not too bad though. Um, I slid my seat belt all the way up. It's still really accessible to get to. Um, the bolster area, it's still, um, it doesn't touch. It is kind of tight. The seat belts in there, I mean, it isn't much different than what it would have been factory. They fit really well. And I think they're like the perfect size and fit for a truck like this. So I've been super stoked with these. I just wanted to show you guys real quick where I decided to put my um, switches for the heated seats. I just decided to put them up here cause I could put both of them close to each other. Um, Kind of, it would have been nice to have them like more reachable for the passenger. But we don't drive this truck very much as a family, so I figured I'd just put them up there out of the way together. Um, pretty good spot. One of the other commonly asked questions was, do the seats sit a tad higher? I think they do, but not a lot to really realize it. Um, I had a sun banner on there from SSW Off-Road, who I got my wheels from, and I always kind of like had the duck under it to see and so I kind of noticed that it was maybe a little bit worse. And so I just pulled it off. I do also have the seat jackers from Desert Does It with the Corbo seats. So that may have a lot to do with it as well, raising the front of the seat like three quarters of an inch. So I bet that's part of the reason why they feel a little bit taller to me. A lot of questions were asked about different colors or styles. Corbo has a ton of different seats on their website. I chose the Trail Cats because they were kind of the ones that I thought would match the best and be the most, um, give the most like balance between comfort and performance. Um, but I'll show you where these ones are. I actually have Corbo's website pulled up right here. So this is the home page. But if you go right up here to shop um, and seats, these are under the reclining seats. And then if you scroll, there's a bunch of different options. The trail cats are down here, right here. They actually just came out with a brand new color and it's this black and white one. And I think that looks pr pretty money, that one. So that one wasn't out when I got these. I don't, the diamond stitch is cool, but I kind of felt it was a little too fancy for the first gen. Um, they have all black with diamond stitch, uh, the normal vinyl, all black. And then they have all the colors listed here. So the white and black, the diamond stitch, the trail cap, um, vinyl, black vinyl, then they also do the beige, 
which is the one I got because I felt like that was kind of nice OEM plus. Um, black and red if you're really looking to get fancy with it. And then they also do like a black and gray, which is this one. So just to wrap things up, I kind of want to give you my final thoughts. Is this the only way to do a seat swap in your first gen Tacoma? Absolutely not. I know there's a lot of other videos that talk about swapping in Subaru seats or um, Mercedes seats. They do require some fabrication work. Um, and I'm not really there quite yet. There's a lot of things I like to do myself, but fabricating seat brackets to bolt in and everything just isn't where I'm at. So if you're looking for something that's complete bolt-in, um, takes you 20 minutes, um, it takes you a little longer if you're wiring in the heated seats or whatever. But if you want like a nice quick project that's completely bolt-in, then I think this is like one of the perfect ways to go. There are a few other things that you can do before going to an actual seat swap in these to make the seats a little bit more comfortable. And that's why I went with the Desert Does It Seat Jackers. I do have an install video and kind of like a impressions video on those that I'll link down below that you can check out. I do have a coupon code for those as well. Um, they were a big game changer, especially for 150 bucks. You can't really beat it. And that's a good place to start if you're looking for just a little bit of extra comfort, but not looking to spend a ton of money on seats. I've done a lot of mods to my Tacoma um, and I've neglected the inside for years. And so now that I've done the seats, this is one thing I definitely wish I would have done from the beginning before I did anything else. Because you sit in the truck every single day and that's where you ride mostly. And it's cool to have the outside look cool, but it's something about being comfortable and feeling supported um, and being able to look at those seats every day that I'm a huge fan of. So I would highly recommend checking them out. I'll link Corbo's website down in the description. But overall for $1,500, I think these are the perfect seats for a first gen Tacoma. They give you just the right amount of bolster to hold you in on the trails to make you feel supported. Um, the, the thigh bolster is low, so it's still really easy to get in and out of your truck. They provide a lot more comfort and support than the factory seats. And so overall, I would totally recommend this. Those final thoughts, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I really appreciate you sticking to the end and seeing what we have to say about these. Go ahead and drop a like, uh, make a comment if you have any other questions that I didn't answer about these seats and I'll try to answer them down below. But thanks for checking it out and I'll see you in the next video.